Slut in the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind and pardon No margin for error, flawless beware -er. The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like Samantha MacGyver, alchemy on the track, make it live -er. And I won't stop rocking till I retire Single or a plural, she break numero uno Colder than she Hey, it's your girl, Madam Money, a.k.a. Trap, 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 and welcome to the official Salt in the Game album review of Text Priceless. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Now, Techie does not need any introduction, you feel me? Like, period, point blank, period. So, we ain't even gonna give you one there, you feel me? First track on here, Priceless, title track, you feel me? Star niggas, niggas are a different breed. I'm just gonna say, like, this project for me... This project for me, just you know, just shouting out the side, just doing this. Like we have very few rappers that do this, even though Jay Z does try to do this every chance he get. And I like that Tech paid homage every step of the way, like too big, too whole. If you feel me on this, and the next track definitely tells you that um too with Static Selector Zero Kill. Um, kidnap niggas want to steal you. Broke niggas don't want no cash. They just want to kill you. And Static is there. He's scratching on there like dope, dope, just dope, dope tracks. Next track on here was called Crown, uh, which samples the infamous uh, track by Sin Sizzler, Sajik Laundry. You feel me? Um, Solid as a Rock. Really, really dope. And I do want to say, like, when you're in, it's not like a stretch or a reach. If you're from like that era to like have these type of tracks where it mixes like dance hall and rap and stuff like that this is something i've been advocating to try to get back into to hip-hop because we really really did like you know merge and blend with this stuff during like you know the early 2000s and everything like that where you knew a lot of dance hall tracks even if you wasn't involved even if you didn't understand what they were saying uh, a lot of things and we're like kind of missing this element in hip-hop again so i'll be trying to get that back on the board even though you know a couple of diehard uh dance hall uh, fans or whatever they don't like that being brung up they don't want dance hall to become like you know um a joke or like i want to say whitewashed or whatever have you like they said what happened in, with hip-hop and stuff with dog that shit all like dog like to get your music out there y'all want to always try to keep the culture a secret where we're all black like we're all black so why try to try to separate the cultures from each other we're all black let's get into it so Dope, dope track, dope track, strong openings, some strong openings on this album. Um, next track on here, the illest again with um Static Selector, live from Beth for Style the Sun. And they, you know, they're playing into the um unbelievable track from Biggie. This was really, really dope work to me. Next track on here, Boot Camp for Life, Sean Price, Buckshot, General Steel. This, like, it's crazy because the boot camp clip for me, like was a quintessential super group. And when I bring up super groups, uh, a lot of people say Wu-Tang and all of this stuff. Wu-Tang is not a super group to me in like in the sense of this is what super group means to me, right? A super group is well-known artists that all come together and band together to form a group, okay? Like um we just seen like a super group be formed with Bruno Mars and um Anderson Pack, you know, Static Silk or whatever the name of the shit is. Um, <clears throat> that's a super group. This was like the quintessential super group, and I was such a fan of the boot camp clip so much. Like this is why my journey in hip hop is very authentic. I was going to buy the boot camp clip album, right? And I was buying a whole couple of other CDs or whatever have you have you, and I told you I want that new boot camp clip. When I got home, somehow, some way, or it might not have been a new one. It might have had one that was already out or whatever have you. When I got home and I got into my, my bag of CDs, whatever, I had this man at the fucking store gave me Mr. Cool's boot camp click, like, uh, like, 
A side, B side type thing, just like the single off of there. This was before he was with No Limit and all of this stuff. And when I listened to <laughs> Mr. Cool's boot camp clip, I'm about that boot camp clip, coming out the boot camp clip, left, right, left, and shit like that. You know, it kind of like opened up another door for me to look into South artists and Southern artists and stuff like that. So a lot of these artists have been running around, but listened to by happen chance. You feel me? Just by mistake off of, you know, the silly nigga at the cd spot not giving me the right shit but i went back and bought the album too um next track on here loyalty featuring sheet loops and this is like a community conscious track coming from the both of them really really dope stuff next track on here glory featuring rome street and this is what i want to say right here because y'all not always sing rome streets praises you feel me but to have like you know a 90s artist link up with somebody like Rome Streets and the shit sounds like formidable, flawless. That Rome Streets doesn't sound out of place uh, with tech was really, really, really a dope uh, a dope track to me. Next track on here called Black Tie Affair featuring uh, Rock Marciano. I thought that pairing was really, really dope. It was really just, you know, just some like high level shit going on here you feel me that's what rock does he always put this texture on any track that he touches really really dope next track on here donism with um az and michelle lele i'm not even saying this shit right but i was i was happy to see az on the on the track you feel me i'm still waiting for doa die too let's just be real clear real technical the next track on here was the machine and tech featuring conway produced by derringer hey yo when it comes down to this type of when it comes down to this type of matchup, I'm not going to sit here and say that one outshined the other one on here too much, but one outshined the other one on here a little too bad, if you ask me. Uh, Y'all make those type of determinations yourself. Next track on here, Don't Make Me Do It, featuring Dark Low. And I'm going to just tell you, like, yo, I'm such a Dark Low fan. The energy that Dark Low brings to it, how he sets his bars, how he, like, puts that conviction behind the end of his bars and stuff like that. I always, always just love to hear Dark Low, new Dark Low. I hope him and V-Don come out with the joint real soon and real fast for um, playing like me over here because I need that. Last track on here, I didn't even write down the name of the track, but I know it had, um... Little Fame on there, another boy in there, the boy in the middle, he did his thing on there. Really, really dope. I really enjoyed this project a lot. It's a couple of tracks on there I will go back to, but it's kind of gave me like this, like, you know, nostalgic feeling and this nostalgic thing of like, you know, Best Eye and Brooklyn and when um Tech was at the, like the height of his game. So on, on here, he didn't really miss a beat. A couple of tracks, the flow could have been tighter, but you feel me for what it's worth, prices, prices, this was up, but I'm about to get out of here. I'm Madam Money. You can follow me on Twitter and IG at Madam Money Says. That's M A D A M M O N E Y S A Y S. Let me know what is the best track on here for you. What's the best produced track? What is the best bars on this album, Priceless? And as always, I'll be seeing you guys around. Peace. <laughs>